The classic way of measuring insulin resistance uh, is to plug an intravenous line into one arm and infuse insulin, and then that should make your body take up sugar really quickly from the bloodstream. So then you put an IV in the other arm and you run in glucose to see to keep blood sugar normal. The more you have to run in, the more insulin sensitive you are. That's called the hyperinsulinemic euglycemic clamp. By the way, it took me about three weeks to learn to say that. <laughs> and it's a very difficult test to do, and we don't do, use that as a standard test. The, the, the easiest way to do it is you draw a blood sample when and look at the insulin, typically a fasting sample, and look at the insulin level in the blood and the glucose level in the blood, and you look at the ratio of those, and that comes up with what's called uh, an insulin-resistant score. And that's a reasonably dependable um, variable. But the other way we look at it is when we look at somebody's um, uh, blood test and physical exam, if they have what we call metabolic syndrome, that which is a central weight carried centrally, high blood pressure, low good cholesterol, HDL cholesterol, high, high triglycerides, or a borderline high blood sugar, not in the diabetic range, but in the borderline range, any three of those five parameters classifies you as metabolic syndrome, and that means you're insulin resistant. If you're diagnosed as type 2 diabetic, you are severely insulin resistant. So, you know, when, for most of cases, we don't need to do any fancy test. It's just based on the person's physical exam and basic lab tests that we can diagnose that. Um, and the more insulin resistant it is, the uh, population is when you intervene for weight loss, the more insulin resistant people on, always lose, more have, find it more difficult to lose. Um, but if you can, by putting somebody on a reduced carbohydrate intake and we get their carbohydrate intakes down below their personal threshold of tolerance, we see dramatic improvements in insulin resistance. And the reason why we think and I may or may not get to showing you some of the data in our current study. Uh, the reason why we seem to be quite a bit more capable of achieving across the spectrum of people significant weight losses is because we uh, basically individualize carbohydrate levels to get people to, into insulin sensitivity, which then enables weight loss. So it's not the low carbohydrate, it's the improved insulin sensitivity that then gives the body permission to store what it has, or to, to burn what it has in storage.